So my name is uh, C5. I am a digital security trainer. I am from the Philippines. My role as a trainer is really around um, guiding uh, activists and human rights defenders, mostly in Southeast Asia, around um, how to use how to secure themselves in a digital way. But more than that, to kind of have a, a holistic um, sense of what security means, so that they are able to sustain their own security way after the training has happened, yeah. yeah. So I train people on the ground, frontline activists, mostly in the women's rights movements and also in the LGBTIQ um, community and movements. The most common uh, meth, uh, kind of a curriculum that we do is around um, having a GPG client, installing Thunderbird, and then installing Enigma on Thunderbird. And they really appreciate uh, GPG, the ones, especially the ones that, that really need it. The threats that they're facing at the moment are, there's a lot around surveillance of, of their communications, both through their mobile communications and through the internet communications as well. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a, one of the biggest threats. But then this, it's related as well to like surveillance and online harassment. They get surveilled and harassed and surveilled some more. And um, increasingly, the, the threat has become really um, targeted um, beyond like just general mass surveillance there's been actual targeting of activists in the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, um, where it takes on uh, of, of the online-offline relationship of the surveillance and the harassment has become very porous. Because we're working with uh, women's rights activists, uh, women's human rights defenders, and LGBTIQ activists, there is a gendered nature to the, how they are being harassed uh, online um, around the threats, around blackmail, like sexual blackmail, around um, threatening to out them, especially for the LGBTIQ activists, and threatening to not just to out them, but also to um, use their sexuality to discredit them. And especially in very, very conservative cultures, that's an effective tactic. In one of the communities and networks that I was supporting, uh, let me just say it's, um, it's an election, a clean election campaign in Southeast Asia, where, you know, the leaders of that movement were being arrested or not, not arrested, detained, and then kind of like surveilled and all of that. So we had to move them away from, from unsecure um, uh, communication channels. And because they, you know, the, the, the communications that they were doing were a lot more substantive than, you know, a chat, a secure chat software could handle, you know, like they needed to kind of like um, exchange documents and files and like lengthy, lengthy kind of messages. So we, we did kind of get them back to like um, email as a, the main form of communication and then um, GPG to, to, to secure that main form of communication. That really kind of worked. It, it allowed them to organize um, and to call for mass demonstrations. Our GPG is totally uh, like, I kind of like, uh, totally like an essential part of digital security and digital like, secure communications because I think it's actually one of the most effective ones um, to, the most effective tool around protecting your communications or at least like the body of your communications. So yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's totally, GPG is totally essential.